Sierra Leone launched a campaign for the accelerated reduction of maternal mortality in Africa, Kama, on 27th March 2010. To actualize the free health care and prevent women from dying while giving life, the Ministry of Health and Sanitation with support from the UNFPA's country office is upgrading health facilities around the country. For free health care be, to be effective for us to reduce maternal and child mortality, we had to do a lot with facilities improvement. And with the help of our development partners, we have multiple projects that we have undertaken to improve our health facilities. So improving them for us to have upgrade to BEMOC centers and SEMOC centers for them to be well equipped in terms of human resource and equipment for, um, to provide the services that we need for the pregnant women, lactating mothers and children on the five. In most parts of Sierra Leone, electricity is a major problem. Most health facilities are closed during the night. Some run on candles or touch lights to deliver services. In these clinics, or PHUs as we call them here, uh, it's dark at night, but the delivery does not wait for it to be morning. How can you use the Chinese lights? Then we check lights there. Come rather be the couch lamp. Uh, even the battery issue where they be the cater for. That be a serious problem. We use church light or we use the light away then Chinese don't make we can get that three or four battery. But still we've been the strain. Because you can use some by the time they do the it go off. Friends of PCMH met with We Care Solar to give light to these health facilities. Friends of PCMH, uh, the retired midwife Aisha uh, Kabia did work with an organization called We Care Solar organization and they introduced to us, showcased a few solar suitcases. I met the manufacturer in California and after explaining to me about the work of the solar suitcase, I think it is the best thing to bring it here to Sierra Leone. I corresponded with the Minister of Health. She was all in for it. But when I arrived, they, had, they didn't have money. So I called a meeting for all the stakeholders, UNFPA, UNICEF, uh, Ministry of Health, and all other stakeholders to introduce the solar suitcase to them. The first seven solar suitcases were installed around the country with support from the UNFPA. How has these solar suitcases helped fight against the maternal mortality in these hard to reach areas? Well, I be received the solar suitcase with the midwife come, why I explained to him that day they will get four delivery, we will be really happy over him. Uh, even the lights will be used to we'll we'll do two episiotomy. We even that before now touch light with the use. But that headlight it really make we'll, we'll do the work fine. The last one now will be the care mobile phone for go charge outside. But now we we'll use the suitcase they help you for charge the mobile phone or they will call the ambulance immediately, even at net self. Well been the one we trip in the other one all the can of hospital. Pass we get for go go buy batteries on ten day, some ten now lights now the count or the count lamp. But this trip work out as I can no motion and put light on. Tell bone and the door. Tell come on and tell this I may come on no problem. Light be there, no light no get one problem. If we know the strength for light, the patient they not the face light again. We self the nurses they will not the face light again. We even get light where if we get case of the refer go McKinney, the lights they can so turn at the ambulance and net for show we tell the ambulance go. Or if they put an amok they can serve, we the face the lights turn and door from down the hill, take inside the hospital. Hospital. 
Moi, je suis dire que je suis un homme qui a été un homme qui a été un homme The huge success of the first seven propelled the UNFPA to help the Ministry of Health and Sanitation procure 42 more solar suitcases. UNFPA um, took it a step further to say, with the great results that we have, we will introduce more solar suitcases into about 42 health facilities. UNFPA has showed so much interest and has poured a lot of money for the installation, for the monitoring, and now they have come up with 42 solar suitcases. So far, 21 have been installed this year with plans for the remaining to be installed in the coming weeks. The suitcase comes with a few telescope to monitor the heartbeat of babies. With on-the-spot training on the use of the solar suitcases and the few telescope, the success has been talked about all around the country. Although there are more health facilities still waiting for the solar suitcase as its success reverberates all through Sierra Leone, the UNFPA is collaborating with the Ministry of Health and Sanitation to solarize more health facilities in Sierra Leone to ensure that no woman dies giving life.